What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA Ultimate Editions Starlight from Amazon's The Boys. And so here we have Starlight posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through her accessories really fast. Starlight does come with two different head sculpts. We do have her base head which looks really good. Then we do have a head sculpt where her eyes are starting to glow exposing her powers. She also comes with two different forearms. We do get the ones with the gold padding. And then we get the ones without the gold padding. She also comes with two sets of hands. We do get a pair of fists. And then we get a pair of relaxed hands. Other than that, Starlight doesn't come with anything else. I don't know what more you would want to include with Starlight, seeing as how her powers is kind of hard to convey in action figure form. I really don't know what more they could have done with the figure, but overall I still like the way it looks. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually have a closer look at Starlight. So here we have a closer look at Starlight. Now, unfortunately for me, I did get one where they didn't quite line up the eyes properly. If you look at her like that, it's a perfect likeness to the actress, so that is good. That's also a really nice uh, portrayal of the actress with her looking up. But combining the two, it just doesn't look right, to be quite honest. I kind of want to try to find one where she's looking straight with both eyes, because that is a little bit... Um, I, I don't like it when this happens, especially when they use a photo reel. I would have liked it if the eyes were more centered with each other, but I understand that that is the nature of the game when it comes to photo reel. So yeah, unfortunately for me, I do have to either live with this one or try to track down one with better paint apps on the head. That's just the way it goes, unfortunately. But if the eyes were more situated and looked more like that, it would be really nice likeness to the actress i'm not gonna lie really do like her hair the way they made it it flows really nicely and i do love her headband right here i do like the fact that they went with soft plastic for her hair rather than making it hard plastic although this part of her hair does seem to be made of a softer plastic where this one is a uh, still soft but not as soft um, me personally, since I do have that issue, I'm probably going to end up displaying her with her powers showing just because the eyes are a little more aligned there. Really does suck when that things like that happen. So overall, uh, likeness would be good. Mine just got a bad pain apps, unfortunately. So we do have really good detailing on her costume all the way around. She is wearing a gold necklace, which does go all the way around her neck. If you could peel her costume back a little bit, that necklace would go back. Really do like her outfit. The fact they were able to sculpt the little stars all throughout her costume. Really great attention to detail. I love her emblem right here, the three stars with the gold trim. It looks really awesome. I do like it. And like I said, she does come with two different gauntlets right here. We do have the ones where we have the starlight emblem, and then we have the silver pat or the gold padding right there. And then we do have another set where the starlight emblem is off to the side, and it, this one doesn't have the gold padding. So if you want to have her with different gauntlets, you can do that. But the hands are interchangeable for each of them. If you want to display her with these ones with the closed fists, you can do that. You can pop the hands in on a out of these so you don't have to be stuck with one particular one which I always do enjoy when companies do that so yeah I really like this the cape is done just as well as Homelanders I like the star pattern it's it does get a little hard to see that they're stars. You have to be really up close with them. But I especially like this gold trim that's going around here. Cape, they did a fantastic job with that. And they actually added a little bit of fade. Although my camera doesn't show it as a fade in normal conditions. It's an actual fade. So you don't have to worry about looking that harsh. Having a look at her costume here. We do have the chevrons right here. And then we have some panel lining on her outfit. We do have her belt where you can see the gold is nicely done. And then we have this pouch, which is a different colored gold. I do like the fact that they made these two different shades. It does add a lot of detail to the figure. And her pouch right here actually has some really good detail. I do like the sculpt work on that. Going all the way around. 
So really do like the detailing on her costume. Looking at her skirt, we have some more stars right here on the underskirt where you can see it's a like a cream color instead of the white and it still has the gold trim on it with the gold stars. That looks really good. Doesn't wear any stockings, but she does have her starlight boots which have this really nice gold emblem on them. They are this kind of tannish color with some really nice brown wash so it does highlight some of the details. Really like the seam work on it. It looks like sewn boots. So really good job there. NECA is always good at adding details like that. And then you can see she does have the wedges to give her a little more height. So overall Starlight here is a very good figure. I do like the way she came out and I honestly prefer these gauntlets over the ones that she initially came with. I know I think the added gold does bring something out in this character. But yeah, again, not a fan of the face. I'm probably going to track one down if I don't decide to display her with this, this face all the time. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get her compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Starlight posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. And so here we have Starlight posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Starlight posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we do have Starlight posed next to the NECA Homelander. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at her articulation. Now, Starlight does have an impressive amount of articulation. She does have a ball joint at the head, which does let her look up, does let her look down a little bit. But because of her hair, it does hinder a lot of that range. So that is unfortunate. And then she does have left and right tilt as well as rotation. But we get an overall pretty decent amount of head tilt. She does have a ball hinge at the shoulder, which does go out to about that far. Could be a little bit better, but I'm okay with that, seeing as how the cape does tuck into the shoulder. I'm actually surprised it doesn't hinder the articulation more, but her arm does go all the way around, no problem. We don't have a bicep swivel, but we do have a swivel down here at the elbow, as well as a hinge, which does go to about 90 degrees. It is a little bit ugly, but that's just the way NECA does their hinges. So you either like it or you don't. You appreciate the range or you hate the sculpt. So yeah, that is how it is. She does rotate here at the gauntlet. She does have a swivel and a hinge at the wrist. So that is pretty good. Now, for some reason, she actually does have a mid-torso joint. Now, it's not that functional. It does lean back and forward very, very little. This is what I'm a little bit confused about. They actually went the distance to give her a mid-torso joint. But she... Oh, never mind. I actually just popped it out of place on camera. But, okay, yeah. So I take back what I was going to say. I was going to say she doesn't have too much range. But she actually has an impressive amount of articulation there now that I got the joint free. Which begs the question, why couldn't Homelander get this kind of articulation? She, The sculpt is throughout the costume as well. And they found a way to break up the sculpt and give her articulation so yeah points to starlight taken away from homelander now we do have rotation right there we do have rotation here at her waist which uh, no it, i believe that's just a swivel it doesn't seem to have any type of give and most of the pivot is at the upper joint but at least i broke it on camera so i was eating my own words with that as you would expect her hips are going to be very hindered by her skirt piece, so they only go about that far, which isn't too impressive. They go back about that far again, not that impressive going forward. I really, really wish she had more articulation. Now, they could have alleviated this by giving us cuts in the skirt, which I probably would have preferred, but... Um, that's just the hand we were dealt, so not too much range there. She does have rotation at the thigh. Double bend here at the knee, going to about right there. We do have swivel above and below the knee, so we do have technically a boot cut swivel. We do have a hinge in the ankle, which does go back and forward. And then we have forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, Star Girl, or Starlight has some pretty good articulation. This isn't Stargirl, it's not DC. But yeah, Starlight, really impressed by her articulation and kind of surprised that she actually has mid-torso where Homelander didn't. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get her posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review.
And so here we have the NECA Ultimate Starlight pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I think Starlight here is a fantastic figure. I think the sculpt work on her is superb. The amount of detailing on her is very good. I do like the paint work on her. It's simple, but there's a lot to take in when it comes to her design. The costume has so much texturing that you got to take a double take just to appreciate it sometimes because the amount of work that went into sculpting all those stars is quite impressive. And the fact that they added panel lining on top of that, that is so crazy. And I really do like the sculpt on this figure. My only complaint about her is the skirt. The skirt could have been, been done a little bit differently just so it freed up some articulation. There are some slits that you could have made in the front which I'm actually surprised ne NECA didn't do. I would have liked to see them make those slits in the front just to give her that kicking articulation that we wanted to see. But overall really do like this figure and the fact they went with Starlight as a f as a figure to go with Homelander is pretty bold seeing as how it's really hard to adapt her power into our action figure form I still think they did a really good job with what they could the eyes look good on this one now unfortunately for mine I do have that issue with the eyes on the standard head but it's not that big a deal if I can't find one with a good set of eyes I can always use this head if you are looking for a Starlight, she is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video. Originally, she was released as a Walmart exclusive, which was a timed exclusive, along with Homelander and I believe Frankenstein. If you were patient enough to wait for her, you actually were going to get her at Target and other retailers, such as Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. I'm actually got glad I waited. I actually got my Starlight for about $30 off Big Bad Toy Store, which is pretty good seeing as how she goes for $35 originally. If you're a fan of the boys and want a starlight in your collection, you're going to want to track this figure down. And with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other NECA videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.